Hello everyone. Today we're outside on my balcony and this is going to be a two week update on the hair color that I tried. <clears throat> and um, I forgot what it was called already. That's okay. Um, I'm a little nervous today because there's a lot of people outside and they're grilling out. We just had a visit from a really cool ice cream truck. So all the kids are out. And so anyway, a little nervous, but here we are. So this is my hair after two weeks, completely dry. I washed it twice, so once per week. And I do not have the shampoo or conditioner that helps keep in the color. I just use the regular stuff. Um, where do I start? All right, first of all, as you can tell, the bottoms are very vibrant. But you get up to here, and this much of it is basically grayed out or slightly pink. So, again, this and down is super vibrant still, but this, this part is getting, like, pretty washed out, basically. And then, of course, it never stays in this top part down to the color because I haven't processed it. So uh, I'll, I'll give you a closer look. So very vibrant. vibrant. Um, but then you get down to here and it's pink. This is after two washes, you guys. So um, I don't think I'm going to be purchasing this product anymore because yeah and also I've been having to put a lot of coconut oil in my hair because it's been really dry lately and I've been losing a lot more and I have not bleached it for months so I mean I already bleached it I don't need to bleach it again but yeah so I'll turn around so you guys can see the back side too probably really uneven but yeah and my hair kind of looks a little matted because I didn't sleep with my bonnet on so it kind of looks like crap and I didn't really brush it today yet so this is what it looks like when it's not brushed <laughs> for any of you who want to know <laughs> so yeah this is the two week update um like I said, I don't think I'll be purchasing this product again because it was so expensive. Um, it costed me 32 bucks total. So around like $15 per bottle. And it feels like watered down soup, I guess. Like broth. And you're putting that broth in your hair. So, um... Yeah, I, I didn't like it. Anyway, let me sit down so you can like, see me again. <laughs> um, Alright, so it was very expensive. And yes, there's people outside, so you're probably going to hear them. Um, very expensive. It doesn't really leave my hair feeling softer after the initial time that you use it. So like... Um, last week when I before I washed it it was so dry I could have literally went like this and it would probably fall out honestly it felt really bad and so not only that but it stained everything and I still can't get those stains out so anyone has any idea how to get stains out after you've tried bleach after you you've tried comet after you've tried nail polish remover give me a little 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 thing comment give me a little comment down below because i really want to know <laughs> so yeah this is what it looks like um i like how vibrant the ends are but it really doesn't look good up close or anything it's graying out and turning like an orangey pink so if you want an orangey pink 
this would be the color for you. <laughs> um, another thing. What's another thing? Also, this isn't scripted, so I'm stumbling a little bit because everything around me is sparkly. <laughs> and I want to just go towards the sparkles. <laughs> so I think our next color is going to be a red. So yeah, and I'm working on um, asking the hubby if I can get a Brad Mondo Super Red because I really want to try his products and um, I really like how vibrant they all are and I've heard a lot of good things about it and I want to see if it works for my hair. As you can see, this did not work for my hair this time. I'm fairly disappointed because it was $32 worth of product and it just kind of washed all out. Or not all out, but you get what I mean. When you put in, if we, especially when you spend so much, you want your hair color to stay in for as long as possible. And two weeks is definitely not long at all. That's probably the least They better be careful because they're going on Bay Street because there have been a lot of police out patrolling and they are stopping a lot of people for noise. So anyway, back to the video. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's my two week update. I hope you enjoyed and um, hopefully it'll last for maybe a few more weeks. But probably do another hair video in like a month because I don't think this is going to last more than a month. And again, that's fairly disappointing. So this would be a really good color if you're going to go to like Pride Month, like a Pride Parade, and you were like asexual or you had purple in your flag, like bisexuality has it in their flag. This would be a perfect purple because it's that vibrant. It's really cool. But, it's not good for like a long term use. So yeah. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you for watching and um, I hope to uh, see you back soon for another video. Bye! <laughs> do, 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 do. Ooh, you can really see it now. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty patchy. Ooh. All right, now I'm saying goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this one. And have a great day.